Okay, what's up everyone? Um, so, uh, I was, I've been playing around with something, I did this I think last week, and I think it might be worth sharing just because it'll probably give some people some ideas. Um, so let me tell you a problem, some kind of annoyance that I've had for a while, um, and that is, well, maybe I should give context, right? So my channel is all about um, applied laziness. It's about, um, well, it's sort of Applied laziness with an asterisk on it, in the sense that it's all about getting things done and getting things done efficiently, um, even if that sometimes means a bunch of setup. And so that's what the channel is about. When I get down, down and dirty with the stuff I need to do on a daily basis, I want it to happen as quickly as possible. Uh, but uh, sometimes you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta install Gentoo before you do it. You know. Um, so anyway, so in my idea here, my idea was. Okay, so I have a resume, I have a CV, um, and I also have a website. And one thing I noticed I was always doing is I'd want to add something. Let's say I had some minor accomplishment and I'd want to add it to a part of my CV. Um, I'd also want to put it on my website, right? Um, so pretty much, and I, I realize my website and my CV are basically the same thing. They're really structurally identical. So my crazy idea was why don't I just have basically the same file for both? Um, and that is have, uh, you know, I didn't want to have a PDF for a website or something like that or an HTML, uh, HTML file for like a CV, but, uh, you know, maybe I could take the structure of both of them, abstract away and, you know, do what I need to do and, you know, not have to deal with the details. So that's what I did. I, I think I did this last weekend. Um, so here is the idea. Uh, I have one little markdown file. This is effectively my resume and my C or my resume CV and website right now. It's not my web. I haven't updated my website to have this on it, but uh, this is. I'll put this up on a GitHub repository, and you can check it out for your own purposes. So the idea here is, um, I have sections, you know, that have different topics. I have subsections, you know, stuff like this. So classes. Classes I taught at the University of Arizona, at the University of Georgia, stuff like that. Um, all the kind of personal information I have about myself, it do, the details don't matter. Um, and I just have this one markdown file. Now what I do is I have a nice little make file, uh, which you don't actually need a make file. You can just run these commands manually, but um, I convert this file to an HTML file and a PDF file uh, with special, uh, you know, uh, style, uh, with a special style sheet or template uh, to get everything I want. Now let me show you what the end result of this is. I just take that one file and I compile it with a particular style sheet and here, this is what I have. Uh, so here is the HTML file, here's the website portion. Um, so notice some things about it. Um, it's, well, a website is just one big page. We have a nice clickable menu. All of this is totally automatic, this menu up here. So the different sections, so the, you know, big, uh, the ones on top here are generated from the section headings. The ones that, you know, appear below are the uh, subsections or whatever. So I can click on classes or something like this. Um, so I can go down here and some things you can scroll over and they'll have extra information. So, oh look, uh, teaching evaluation, let me read that. And this just goes to a PDF on my like uh, website or something like that. Um, so uh, the general idea is basically um, all of that markdown file is just converted to this with a style sheet. Um, so all of, oh, I should say this. So one of the important things is Pandoc has a nice little setting called table of contents, and that's actually how I auto-generate the nav bar. Um, so what you do, well, let me show you first off, let me rename this CSS file. If I reload this, this is what it looks like by default, like without the style sheet. Um, but the table of contents option that you can feed Pandoc uh, right here is, oh, excuse me, right here, um, basically just takes the section headings and it creates this sort of structure here. Um, so that's all, really all I need, all I did is I, it labels it with a certain, you know, in certain CSS syntax, uh, and I can, or excuse me, HTML syntax, and I can make CSS, uh, you know, traits for all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, all of this is just, again, compiled automatically from, you know, the input. Uh, so now I don't really have to worry about any specifics on the website, I just make changes to the markdown file, and the nav bar is automatically generated from all this stuff. If I move things around, if I reorder things, re-emphasize things, all of that is just automatic. Um, so that's that. Um, now, the 
PDF portion is not necessarily any less interesting. Um, so I'll pull up the PDF. Now this is a LaTeX PDF uh, without using LaTeX. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not writing it. Again, this is just based on the markdown file. Um, and I have it, I've given it a separate, let me open up the make file again. So all you have to do is give Pandoc a template and I have a nice little template and this file here will tell you what you want your sections to look like. Like I want mine to be bold and have this big line. I want my subsections to be in the center, stuff like that. Um, so all the basics are again generated here. So this is exactly the same structurally as the HTML file. Uh, I just don't have to, I don't have to like convert it or anything myself. It just does it automatically. Um, so there is, oh, I will say, you know, this stuff I wish I could hide away, like these bigger descriptions. I don't know of a way of sort of commenting out, so to speak, stuff in a LaTeX document, or like through Pandoc. I mean, there's definitely a way of doing it. Um, but anyway, the, so on that, actually, this template file that you give Pandoc to um, compile into the LaTeX document, um, this is, I think, Pandoc-specific kind of syntax. I mean, obviously it's LaTeX, but it, it has, I think these ifs and else's are the stuff that are used by uh, Pandoc. Um, and if you want to get one of those, if you want to generate your own um, LaTeX template, it's actually super easy. You just type in Pandoc D uh, and then LaTeX, and that generate that actually spits out the default template. So if I want to do, you know, we'll put that into the file template and then I can make modifications to that. So that's all I did. I just opened this file up, made some changes, and then, you know, got what I want, uh, added in the different section headings and stuff like that. And that's all you have to do. Um, so again, the idea behind it is just, um, now that I've done all this work, I never have to think about uh, making changes to my CV or my, well, I do want to make some changes to the, the LaTeX template, but um, I don't really have to think about making changes to my CV and website as two separate things when I actually add something on there. Now, I'm thinking of other, other ways, I think I mentioned on the forum, I'm thinking of other ways of doing sort of a similar paradigm. Um, first off, I'd, I'd like, so I have just one page now, I'd like to sort of make a uh, a really quick website compiler that can take different what markdown. I mean, of course, there are static site generators out there. I just sort of like to do it myself just to, um, just because whenever I use one of those, they never really give me exactly what I want. Um, so it's it was simple enough to do that. I might do one of something like that. Um, but on the other hand, um, another thing I was thinking about, I think I mentioned on the form, was that um, I have an RSS feed, and it'd be really nice if I could have Pandoc like convert that RSS feed, or at least have it show up as uh, a kind of a blog, like instead, where you have things you can click on, you know, you can mat you show all the text, stuff like that, and just sort of a good looking blog, blog template. So if you know about that, go ahead and, um, you know, give me whatever you got, but uh, I'm probably gonna figure it out myself uh, if you don't. Um, so anyway, I think, I think that's about it. Um, so again, just the idea is, you know, minimizing the work I have to do later by doing it all now. Uh, but yeah, it's actually really, it's really um, elegant, I guess, just having just one little file I can make changes to. And I could probably do, I could probably do even crazier stuff with this now that I'm thinking about it. But um, yeah, that'll be for other videos. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope that it'll be on a GitHub repo, so you can check it out yourself. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, but that's all for this time, so I'll see you guys uh, next time.